The word for meditation in Pali is to develop. Pavana means that you're looking in the mind and seeing which qualities have the potential to be good, and you do your best to nurture them. Because a lot of our problem is that we have qualities in the mind that we nurture. They're actually not good. They're weeds. We have to figure out what are the genuine trees and other plants that will be useful inside the, inside the mind. Give them some space. You learn to recognize the weeds. A lot of times we think the weeds are great. In other words, there are a lot of things about ourselves that we like a lot. We identify with them. But they're causing suffering. They're causing trouble. And we have to admit that. Otherwise, what grows is just a little bit. We have only a limited amount of water, a limited amount of fertilizer and soil. So try to give them to the things that are really worthwhile. As they're sitting here with, watching their breath, okay, what's worthwhile at the moment is mindfulness, alertness, ardency. The ardency is especially important. There are all too many people who think that meditation is a matter of just relaxing. And the idea of working on concentration and working on developing your skills seems to be just one more task to do in a world that's full of tasks. What well, is a task? And you have to decide which tasks are important and really devote yourself to them. There's some things in the world that you have to put aside. This is why we come to a monastery, to put a lot of the other things outside to the side. And then focus on what's really important inside. And we'll find that when we come to the monastery, we don't leave all our bad qualities outside. They come along with us. So you've got to learn how to recognize them and be willing to change. The attitude that says, well, this is the way I am, that cuts off the path right there. Not so much because there's an I there, but it's because the I is fixed and unchanging and unwill unwilling to change. You've got to step back from it and just learn to look at your actions and see when you do something, what are the results. And there are a lot of things that we've just learned how to put off. Say, well, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. But there are a lot of things that are unskillful in our behavior that do matter. And when you learn to realize that, when you learn to take that seriously, okay, then you can say that you're really practicing. Otherwise, we're just decorating around the edges. And the big problems inside never get dealt with. So they are big problems, but it's not, they're not too big to deal with. You learn how to break them down into manageable pieces. And you see that the path, even though it is a demanding path, is something that human beings can do if they put their hearts to it, if they put their minds to it. So nurture inside what needs to be nurtured, and learn how to step back from your old habits. See which ones really are helpful and which ones are not. As I said, you want to use your actions as a mirror. And if you can see that there's a blemish in the mind, okay, get rid of it. That's what the Dharma is for.